It's just entertainment purpose. It's not. It's just entertainment purpose. It's not. In the case of anybody. It's just entertainment purpose. It's not. In Hi, hotties, kettles, tea stirs. You're here for hot tea. All commentary is alleged, and in my opinion, this is for entertainment purposes only. The new episode of Love and Marriage Huntsville comes on tonight. Y'all get in the comments. Let me know if you guys are going to be watching it. We're going to be seeing more of Stormy in this episode. She's going to be opening up about her warehouse issues and her staff, so on and so forth. So we get to see more of Stormy. We're going to get to see the breakdown in the background of all of the warehouse issues that she may have possibly been having. Do you think she's going to be honest about the things that she has going on? Y'all get in the comments. Let me know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit the post notification bell so you are up to date each and every time that I upload and you can be up to date with all of the latest Love and Marriage Huntsville drama. So in this video, I attached the clip of OWN. They release a sneak peek of what's to expect for the episode that's coming on today. We get to see Stormy and her husband talking with her team. She does say that they're family and she ends up crying. OWN also released another clip where she was sitting down talking to, I guess, her cousin about his day-to-day -day work orders. She dropped that clip on her Instagram. Her cousin is is obviously one of the issues within her warehouse because he is family. He thinks it's okay to show up late to work. So we're going to see more about that in this episode. So that actually gives us context to why a lot of the products are late, why she's behind on so many of the shipping orders, because she is hiring just people that she know in her family, and they're not really taking her serious. That's just my opinion. So we do know that Stormy did get sued for $1.7 million. She was upset at the bloggers for talking about this, and we don't really know why, seeing as though it is public information. But she went into default with Apex, and that is how they were able to win this lawsuit. Black Titanic also created a video where she went around to look for Stormy's warehouse, and one of the owners said that Stormy hasn't been in that warehouse for about seven years. So so in my opinion, I do think she probably rented out a space just to film in um, because this isn't the space that she had that big old art painting in. And I think that's the space that the man said that she hasn't been in. So I don't know, you guys. Y'all get in the comments and you guys let me know what you think about all of this. Let's go ahead and check out the clip of Stormy in her warehouse and her team. We all family, for real. I want us to start working like it. As a leader, I just want to always take accountability where I feel like I dropped the ball. Y'all don't like it? Here we go. Y'all get in the comments and let me know what you think about that scene. I don't know. It does look a little scripted, but you guys get in the comments. We're probably just going to have to watch it to actually see it translate on camera. But in my opinion, we do see why you guys' order is backed up because she only have about four to five people working for her. And all of these people are seemingly family. And like I said, in one of the clips, she had an issue with her manager, which is, I think, her cousin. I'm going to confirm that later on when we do the review. And he comes in late and that is really the issue. You cannot hire family. She needs to be hiring real people. So maybe she hired these family members because she can pay them under the table. And that's just my opinion, because why not just fire them, hire other people? There's plenty of people that need jobs that she can hire, in my opinion. So we do know Stormy is always watching the bloggers. In one of my videos, I said that she was always marketing the body glaze. So she went on her live to show us that she's still going to be um, promoting her hair care products. But I do think it's kind of unsanitary for her to be um, filling up the oils without gloves. Y'all let me know in the comment section. Maybe it's me, but to me, that's unsanitary. That's just, I've never seen it practiced like that when you are handling products, hair care products and things of that nature, <laughs> you need to have gloves. I, I don't know. Y'all get in the comments. Let me know. Is that a safety hazard? What's going on? Is that a sanitary issue? Let me know in the comment section. She also said that, um, majority of her products are in-house or not majority of her products, but she did say that, 
Um, her best sellers are in-house. So the body glaze she makes in-house and that hair serum she makes in-house. I'm assuming everything else she gets outsourced and that might be where that apex loan come in at i don't know you guys but she is always confirming things without confirming the things that we actually want to know which is how we know what's a lie and what's not a lie but you guys you can check out her live if you want to i'm going to play the rest of it here and y'all get in the comments and let me know what you think about everything i used to come in and out but then i started realizing like stuff wasn't being handled properly wasn't getting done accordingly and like the last month or two i kind of been in here heavy and like i've turned so much stuff better it's crazy like that's the right way to say it and i'm just excited to finally for the first time be in a consistent one to three minutes to stay processing window which is a big deal for us because a lot of our stuff is made in-house um so yeah my goal is to eventually kind of come in and out I was saying my goal is to come in and out, but I feel like I'm not going to be there until like 2024. Because like the way we build and stuff now, like with our whole body category, which is actually being at scale in a like good processing window. And when I say scale, I mean like it's not a small level, like it's a big enough level. Okay. Okay, I got you. Look at Courtney, guys. Say hey, Hub. Hub. Say hey, Hub. Hi. I was in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm making a, uh, I'm on my story. You got pops? Yeah, well, I It's just entertainment purpose only. It's not. It's just entertainment purpose only. It's not. In, in the case of anybody. It's just entertainment purpose only. It's not. In